Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we will talk about CVM, a sell side corporation. And uh, this company is actually today made a very nice white uh, uh, candle. And now the question is what's going on? Is it going to continue like that? And what would be the interesting buying points, selling points, and what we should be watching off uh, as a possible danger to enter? For the moment. So um, overall CVM is actually a company that uh, was you see showing after COVID's time quite well volatile behavior. You can call it stable or volatile in a certain range. Actually its volatility range is quite broad. So if you look it's like uh, something between uh, you can say 12 for the last uh, yeah for the last five six months and the tops would be let's say somewhere up to 17 actually the, the higher tops and the mid tops channel for trading was here is about uh, 15 14.5 to be more precise and this is very interesting stock in that sense that it's very volatile so if you like just waving games uh, just entering safe knowing that one day or another soon it will just return that's the stock that was the stock at least for last six months uh, for that kind of game because you see these trading channels were repeating its, uh, each other very well so in that sense it's interesting from volatile point of view and if you would be uh, speaking of this as a channel so let's call this c1 um, c2 line and uh, c3 line in that sense Everything entering in the vicinity of C1 for this stock or in between C1 and C2 would be kind of a safe trade than to wait for uh, going higher closer to C2 or between C2 and C3. In that sense, it's kind of easy stock. But uh, overall, if you look what's going on now here, uh, well, uh, the stock did this leg up. So what's the future? To understand this, we need to uh, look look a little bit retrospective so starting from May indeed as you can see here or mid of April the price really went up and started to create this channel so in, in several uh, trading sessions from April to beginning of May the channel was formed actually with these huge waves and in June uh, we see just the confirmation of the channel started here beginning of June and then the channel was reconfirmed all the way like with huge waves in June uh, in July then another strong confirmation took place actually starting from August all the way until middle of the August and here also what is important that during those trading sessions there were volume spikes uh, beginning of May uh, middle of June and actually here middle of September and in general the volumes were quite quite active so this formed also moving averages to uh, to behave in a certain way here we have by the way three moving averages depicted on the left it's a moving average 20 50 and 200 being green blue and red lines correspondingly we always keep saying uh, that it's important to look at moving averages because they allow you to understand kind of a weighted or average behavior of the stock and the tendencies so here what you will see is that moving average 200 which is although slow moving but important is always steadily almost linearly growing all this time and this is very important here so we can even plot almost a linear line this is important that it shows overall the increasing uh, positive uh, tendency of the stock and it is actually kind of pushing up this c1 c3 channel higher and c1 level is kind of trying to be pushed upwards you can clearly see here that although it was pierced but in general the tendency is to move higher and also moving averages 20 and 50 are dancing around each other so making these waves but what happened recently and this is very important starting from October after last reconfirmation of the trend of C1 that the, the channel actually we saw positive wave and this positive wave was quite consistent so it, it went all the way until actually C2 level then some uh, volatility took place there about 10 ish of October uh, several days but then instead of going further correction as we would usually observe we see some kind of a boost mode for the wave so we are going up with acceleration and similar behavior can be seen for moving averages 20 and 50 we, we are not just positive 
they are not just going up but they go up with acceleration meaning like their first and second derivatives are positive so it means like it goes like this exponentially and moving average 50 also goes like that so here you can clearly see it what does this mean this means that stock is actually in technical um, beast mode why technical because there is still no solid news uh, yet there to, to cause this so it's purely technical very nice one also if you look uh, MACD wise that the wave was still positive and now the MACD wave is going another positive bulb and then it will strongly go for recover and correction and uh, recover to create another wave and this is very important here the reason for that is we are almost with this price action we are almost in the vicinity of C3 level which will work as a very strong resist here and what might happen also given the fact that this is a technical movement and tomorrow is the actually ending of trading session of this week we can see kind of a shooting star or ending indicators uh, candles it could be anything it could be shooting star the red dojo on the top the dark dojo on the top or the red in between the body of this white candle so there are many combinations could be but momentarily this this action is kind of uh, bullish bearish meaning that beginning could be bullish but ending should be kind of corrective bearish not not breaking the trend but just corrective also this is this consideration supported by the fact that we're going RSI overbought because all previous actions of RSI being peak you overbought area always meant kind of uh, ending of the upwards wave if you make those lines here you can clearly see it it was here here in the end of June also a similar situation so every time we see this spiky behavior of RSI it can be clearly seen well this current situation is still a little bit different because here uh, moving averages are not just dancing around each other like it was previously but they go both in the boost mode all go positive and second and first derivative so going up with acceleration this would still mean we can break the channel C3 level and make some significant upwards move so if you're already in the stock you entered a little bit earlier somewhere around 15.5 well take a chance stay there maybe you can make some nice profit it would be not very maybe smart to over save let's say to exit immediately uh, uh, but be cautious because the price might be volatile tomorrow especially if you look volatility levels uh, between 15.5 actually as a lower limit and uh, the C3 as upper limit so this could be the volatility channel but overall the price should correct its technical calling for correction and then correction levels would be of course uh, if you also look at moving averages well somewhere the first buy would be around uh, C2 and the second buy of course would be somewhere actually at the moving average 200 so this would be then the second buy so with somewhere in these two circles uh, would be the nice um, entry so this would be first entry point this would be second entry point for average down we always also advise to average with one to two meaning buying with one portion first circle and two portions and the other circle so once this is taking place uh, it will be a classical channel confirmation and then of course you can expect another movements above c2 level closer to c3 this might, might take several weeks therefore we always say that our videos are actually giving advice up to from one week to one month for a little bit more so uh, please also therefore look our other videos so the date on the videos means just the, the date it was issued but it's not the date uh, where the, the predictions should take place therefore the previous videos are still updated and fresh meaning that uh, the prediction is given up front to one month maybe so you can still watch the videos and be ready prepare yourself for the actions discussed and make your uh, entries and profits so with having said that that's is all for CVM also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel this way you will not miss our new videos new interesting discussions and opportunities for US based stocks